Hello there, do you also want to learn how to use VTube Studio with OBS? Well, let me help you out right there. So first off, you're going to open OBS and within OBS, you're going to want to look to the side and you're going to want to add a Sprout 2 capture. Now you may not have a Sprout 2 capture. Well, within VTube Studio, you might notice that if you go to the webcam settings and you go to your little, that little cog wheel thingy and then within the cog wheel thingy, you have a little, little camera setting. If you go to the virtual webcam configuration, you either have an activate a virtual webcam, which I'm using for a different thing. Don't worry about it. You shouldn't use it at all. You should activate Sprout 2. Now, what is Spout 2, you might say? Spout 2 is a different way of uh, utilizing a virtual webcam, essentially, that will also not use too much CPU resources. So that's also pretty good. So when you click on the little button up here, you'll be able to click on More Info. This More Info tab will bring you to the Spout like page. You will then have to either go to click on the Release Pages, get yourself an install, install it, restart OBS after you've installed the little, little program thingy. And then here you will get the option of adding a Sprout 2 capture. What that will do if you add it as a resource, I already have one already, is you will be able to add a uh, VTuber essentially, right? So that's pretty neat. Uh, if you need any other help with that, you might also want to go look at the properties for the thing. You might get a few of them. You might get a, um, a different senders thingy. I wanted, I want the virtual VTube Studio one to be sent. Composite, I'm just gonna leave it at default, and the pull time, just gonna set it to fast. Don't forget within VTube Studio to set your background to color picker, and then when you color pick, to set transparent and capture on to make sure that your background is transparent. That's all, and uh, I hope this helped you out.